Dear friends, uh, I want to thank my colleague and friend, Prime Minister Richard Kumaran of TGTE, for asking me to speak uh, on this very important day and event. Right now, today, as we speak, Sri Lanka has the highest number of disappeared persons in the world, and they are all Tamils. This is a shocking disgrace. Under international law, the enforced disappearance of human beings, which is what we are dealing with here, when it is widespread or systematic, is a crime against humanity. Uh, the most serious type of international crime short of genocide. And in the case of Sri Lanka, we have both the widespread and systematic enforced disappearance of Tamils. It's that simple, a crime against humanity. Moreover, the enforced disappearance of human beings is a continuing criminal offense under international law, unless and until the whereabouts of the victim have been accounted for not just some uh, uh, bogus certificate of death, but rather the whereabouts must be accounted for in some fashion to bring closure to the next of kin, to the family. As a matter of fact, under international law, the next of kin, the family, are also considered to be a victim of the human rights violation of the enforced disappearance of human beings. So what we have here in Sri Lanka is an ongoing crime against humanity, not only against the disappeared, but also against their families, the next of kin. And so far, the world, including the United Nations, has refused to do anything about it. A shocking disgrace. Moreover, if you read my book, The Tamil Genocide by Sri Lanka, the second edition, you will see that I established the case that in this case, the governor of Sri Lanka's uh, uh, abuse of the Tamils, the enforced disappearance of human beings on this scale uh, is also a, an element of genocide against the Tamils. So this is not a crime against humanity alone, but this massive enforced disappearance of human beings against the Elam Tamils is ongoing genocide, not just genocide in the past, not just crimes against humanity in the past, but part of the ongoing systematic genocide by the government of Sri Lanka uh, against the Elam Tamils. And that is why this is so serious. We, we are dealing with the case here of ongoing genocide against the Elam Tamils. And Article 1 of the Genocide Convention requires all contracting states and basically all states in the world to act to prevent genocide, prevent this enforced disappearance of human beings, uh, to stop it and to punish it. And again, so far, uh, the world has not done this. And 
the United Nations and all of its organizations and institutions uh, have not done this either. So I'm here today to encourage you to support this declaration, this resolution, and to do all in your power and whatever you can to terminate, stop, prevent this mass enforced dis disappearance of Tamils in Sri Lanka that is an ongoing crime against humanity and outright ongoing genocide uh, against the Tamils of Sri Lanka. May God be with you all.